Welcome back to another Rat Face 44 Reviews. My name is James, and today we have G.I. Joe Classified Series, Jinx. So let's get this started. So before we get this started, big shout out to DJC Collectibles hooking me up with the classified figures. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. Pretty plain Jane packaging, like I keep on saying. Pretty simple G.I. Joe logo on this side of the packaging. You have some uh, nice artwork. And on the other side of the packaging here, we just got a QR code and some battle stats. And here's a digital render of Jinx wearing her blindfold in the dojo. Got some weights in the background and these, uh, forget the name of the weapon here with the staff and the uh, soft ends on here. There is Jinx with her blindfold, and there is Jinx with the tattoo. Boring stuff on the bottom, so let's go ahead and open her up and take a look. So this is my first impressions. I have not watched any reviews of Jinx. She is one of my favorite Joes. And we'll have a vintage uh, comparison later on in this video. So here is Jinx in the plastic imprisonment. Let's go ahead and take all the accessories out and the figure and take a closer look. So we got a fairly decent amount of accessories that come with Jinx here. We have one trigger hand. Uh, you can see the black wraps around the hand here. And we have, looks like a another trigger finger. No, nope, this one is, I believe, a holding hand which is really cool next we have her blindfold just a simple kind of I think it's made of plastic and it's kind of textured we'll try this out later and next we have the uh, her sword um, I'm not sure if this is the same one that came with movie snake eyes I think it quite might be um, I haven't unboxed that uh, particular figure yet we have a little bit of a paint deal detail here Kind of a dull kind of gray silver like we have kind of a brown handle light brown handle that has some texture on it and the last weapon here is this crazy weapon <laughs> uh very dangerous for the uh for the user and the opponent uh because you could easily probably slip and cut yourself but uh uh, this thing is wacky has some uh, has some nice uh, ornate detail on the blade You can see some wraps here with some texture plain black in the middle and same on the other end here So that's it for the accessories. Oh, yeah here. here I don't know if I showed you the sheath here with the peg For the sword. So that's it for the accessories Let's go ahead and take a look at the figure. Let's zoom in right in on her face here Let's see if we could get it unblurred. There it is. Very nice face sculpt and paint job on her face there. Check out the eyeshadow. Very nice red lipstick. Look at the side profile here. Cool short hair, black, nice and styled. Very nice. On her neck, she has a choker with a little bit of a uh, Looks like an orange detail there. I'm not 100% sure what that is. Some sort of jewel, I'm guessing. <laughs> Very cool. She has this red short sleeve gi. Uh, you got the uh, dragon kind of uh, design on here, just like the vintage. And we'll have that one later on in this video. There is the tattoo. Don't, you know, I'm not sure exactly. Is that the way it's supposed to be? I thought it would be a little bit more detailed. It looks a little blotchy to me. Um, let me know in the comment section down below what that's supposed to be. It does break at the elbow here. Double jointed elbows, of course. The butterflies, let's go ahead and check that out while we're at it. Not that great. Uh, not that bad. At least there's, at least we have some, I guess. We got these forearm wraps. Both, arm, both arms, very cool. I like the detail here on the seam. It goes all the way down. The top half of her body is a little bit shinier than the uh, kind of the plastic overlay here that's uh, down by her waist. 
So let's not forget about the black belt here. This one is free floating and it's a very pliable plastic. You got some nice texturing here on the pants, a uh, little bit baggy pants. Very simple, very cool though. Down at the bottom here, you got some shin wraps, uh, pants that are kind of tied with a string. You got the ninja boots, very simple, very cool. Um, that's exactly how a ninja should dress. Simple as possible, I guess. You got some uh, paint details here on the side down her thigh very cool all right so let's go ahead and try out the other head first and it would be very very cool to get two of these i've been wanting to so you could have a bunch of red female ninjas that'd be a cool kind of army build um probably could maybe remove the tattoo and make them more generic but i could see hasbro making red female ninjas as opposed to the male ones here that I have in the background. So there's the masked face, very cool. There is a tie on the back here, kind of stuck together, uh, the mimic uh, material, very cool. Check that out. So let's go ahead and try out the blindfold. She is known that she fights better with a blindfold, just like the 1987 movie. And I believe that was the first time she was introduced. Let me know if in the comment section down below if I'm correct or not. I am not, my memory is not the greatest. So it does stretch over the head. So it is nice and tight. So there is the blindfold for Jinx. Check that out. Not too bad. And I'm not sure if I'm going to display her like this. I think I'm going to keep her regular head sculpt on. I really like that. Let's show that off. But I do like the, the masked red ninja. Uh, it looks really cool. And getting a second would be freaking amazing so there is a sheath here with a sword that that plugs in the back here check that out fits perfectly let's put the sword in the sheath I think it just came out and we have default fist hands on her so in order for her to hold on to her weapon we must swap out and put in the holding hands or one is a trigger, one is a holding hand, I believe. So that comes out really quick, pretty easy. The peg is uh, a little thin here, as you can see. And sometimes it's a little tricky to put in these female hands. They're very, very thin. So let's try the weapon and put that in her hand or hands i should even say so let's you know part of the whole thing about the butterfly joint is having the figure cross arm you know that is what a butterfly joint should do and the cut under the armpit there it should articulate so they can hold the a gun cross arm or a weapon close together but uh you know don't slide your hand past this part you might cut your hand off <laughs> speaking about holding weapons with two hands jinx can hold her sword with two hands this looks really awesome so as you can see in the background i got some other Oroshikage ninjas like storm shadow snake eyes kamakura red ninjas and I believe they're all part of the Roshikage clan, which is really awesome. And it's great addition to the classified GI Joe line. Give me more ninjas. <laughs> all right, guys, so let's go ahead and do a vintage comparison. As you know that, you know, this is the only way 
you got your uh, Jinx in the A Real American Hero line. You never had an unmasked Jinx in there. So doing a comparison would be apropos to put on her ninja head, ninja masked head, balaclava head. Yep. So there you have it. There is the classified version and the real American hero version. Unfortunately, I do not have her complete. I have her backpack. So that is one thing missing from the classified is a backpack, which would have been really cool to have. Uh, I believe there's another classified figure that has a similar backpack. I believe it's Quick Kick who has that similar backpack as Jinx. So, you know, maybe you could take his backpack and maybe color it black or whatnot and put it on jinx so there you have it guys there is my review of gi joe classified series jinx with the real american hero version of jinx i hope you enjoyed my review it's a little bit of a quicker review i enjoy doing a little bit of faster reviews so if you enjoy my content please like comment and subscribe make a comment down below share with your friends it would be greatly appreciated Thank you very much for watching, and Yojo and Cobra!